Okay, we are now recording and we're going to call to order the salary board meeting at 10.01. Is there any public comment for items not appearing on today's agenda? Hearing none, we will go to the minutes from our Thursday, April 29th meeting. Is there a motion to approve those minutes? Motion to approve the salary board meeting minutes from Thursday, April 29th. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Any final discussion on the minutes? Hearing none, all in favor of approving the minutes, do so by saying aye. 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 The motion is carried. All right, we're gonna head on to personnel items or we're gonna begin with one from our emergency communications office. Uh, we have do have Norm with us uh, on the call. Norm, anything you'd like to add uh, to this item? Yeah, we selected, uh, Carly, Carly Bird was selected out of a group of five internal candidates interviewed. She's been with our department five years. She currently is a training coach and assistant supervisor. Uh, she assisted a lot with development of new training tools for a new hire. So we're recommending uh, Carly to be submitted to the, be the next training supervisor. Okay, thank you, Norm. Any questions for Norm before, before we look for a motion? All right, seeing no questions, is there a motion to consider the approval? Motion to approve the uh, promotion change in title for Kylie Berg in the uh, Emergency Communications 911 Department. Go ahead, Jason. All right, second. It's been moved and seconded. Any final discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, do so by saying aye. 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 Motion is carried. Thank you, Norm. Thank you. Next item is the consideration of the approval of the promotion change in title for Joan Miller from full-time MDJ court secretary in Judge Jordan's office to full-time office supervisor to in Judge Jordan's office. And the president judge rest is requesting that Ms. Miller be approved at a higher step. Uh, would there be a motion to that effect? Motion to approve the promotion change in title for Joan Miller at the uh, higher, higher salary step. Second. It has been moved and seconded. Any final discussion on that? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion is carried. We also have the consideration of the approval of the lateral transfer change in department for Denise Bittner from full time magisterial district court secretary in Judge Kelly Gillette Walker's office to full-time in Magisterial District Court uh, Justices Jordan's office as a district court secretary. And we would look for a motion to approve. There would be no change in pay of rate. Uh, motion to approve the lateral transfer change of department for Denise Bittner. Second. Second. <laughs> Give it to Steve. <laughs> okay. It's been moved by Commissioner Higgins, uh, seconded by Commissioner Dersham. All those in favor do so by saying aye. 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 The motion is carried. For our probation office, uh, we do have one item. We wanted to see if we had anybody here representing the probation office to give us some context. Uh, yeah, uh, Cody Young, the deputy uh, chief here. Hey, um, Cody. Good morning. Morning. So we are looking to bring Brittany Gaffigan back in. Um, she was here previously, so we wanted to bring her in at that rate. Um, she, you know, there won't be any training period or anything like that. She was a great employee while she was here, and we're looking forward to bringing her back. Okay, fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Young. Any further uh, questions on this, comments? All right, hearing none, is there a motion? Motion to approve the rate for Brittany. Is it... Gaffigan. Gaffigan? Yep. Um, effective May 24th. Second. Okay. It's been moved by Commissioner Higgins, seconded by Controller Moser. Any final discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of this say aye. 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 The motion is carried. Okay, great. Thanks again, Cody. Appreciate it. All right, for our adult services office, we'll welcome in uh, Faith Ryan for some context on these uh, items here. Everybody, thanks for having me today. Um, as you're aware, our office has gone through a very transformative uh, phase 
uh, as we've welcomed the ERAP program or the Emergency Rental Assistance Program. Um, at this time, we are looking to restructure our department because of the number of uh, programs that we've brought in, as well as the amount of money we've brought in uh, to serve our community. Uh, this is the first phase or rollout, so to speak, of this restructuring. Uh, just to give you a little bit of an overview, uh, we have had a recent retirement. So some of the jobs that you see here are a reallocation of funds and also some job duties. Uh, we're also in the process of creating a housing unit under our department, which is really exciting for us, uh, which is why you'll see um, a housing supervisor listed and why that's part of the first rollout. So the three items that we have today are housing supervisor. So like I said, that individual would be overseeing and providing management to our housing unit, which would be comprised of our housing program specialists and our case uh, worker team. Um, we also have a data and quality specialist, which would be new to our department as well. Uh, they would be helping us with the, the new database that we have coming online, as well as our participation in HMIS, which is a state and honestly national, nationwide type of database that we're required to participate in with our HUD grants. Um, and we'd also be looking to hire a department clerk. Uh, which will help with our day-to-day -day duties, of course, assist any of the general public that would eventually be coming into our office and also providing a lot of assistance to our ERAP program. As you can imagine, there's a lot of scanning and phone calls and emails um, on a daily basis, and that will help alleviate some of the caseworkers that are providing that service now so they can uh, get their attention back to the ERAP applications. So again, this is the first phase and rollout of the restructuring in our department. Um, we'll be back on the agenda on May 20th um, but this is where we decided to start and seem the most strategic. So uh, the funding for these positions will be coming from a mix. Uh, it'll be from county funds because again, we had a retirement and we can reallocate those dollars appropriately. Uh, ERAP admin, as well as our human services block grant. Those are our two primary funding sources. Um, but we also wrote in our, I wrote in the memo that it's pretty general. Uh, that we would use all appropriate adult services funding because we have more DCD money coming, more HUD money coming, and who knows what else, right? <laughs> and that's six months to a year. So uh, that's what we have on the agenda today, and I'm happy to answer any questions for you. Uh, Faith, this is Steve. Are, are these permanent changes, or are these are these influenced by the uh, by the big amount of, of uh, money that's coming in? How, how does this look a year or two from now? Sure. So it's the answer is yes to both of your questions. It is influenced by the influx of dollars also because of the extension of these dollars. So we're waiting to get um, some additional information, but we've received uh, various charts and documents showing us that the program that we're running right now, the ERAP that we have at this time will be extended until September of 2022. Um, and then there will be a second program that takes us into 2025. So that really um, started this conversation internally. We're also gonna be reallocating some duties as far as our rental assistance program, our FAIR programs. We have uh, more ESG CV, which is um, for rapid rehousing coming on board. We have more HUD money coming on board. And so it's our feeling that this was really needed anyway um, but the additional money that we've received kind of pushed us to do it all at one time. Um, so at this point, it would be permanent, um, you know, and we would, it would also allow us to catch and manage any new funding that comes our way that's housing related. I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, to Commissioner Dersham, your point, I don't want to uh, lead you there or get us there, but, but my, or my, put words in your mouth. My thinking was, to potentially make this contingent upon appropriate grant funding uh, because again, it might be two, three years, but to, with the understanding that uh, as we see this money decrease, we will obviously not have hundreds of applications coming in for federal grant dollars. Uh, but that might be something I'd be interested in uh, uh, doing with some of the, with the, with the programs that are, that are more dependent on federal dollars and the program that's currently there due to the pandemic. Uh, Faith, I don't, I don't know if you, uh, for the department clerk one, that might not be as, as important to do it with. Sure, I mean, I'm fine with whatever language makes everybody feel comfortable. Um, I think it's also important to note, though, that the second ERAP program that we can expect, I, I would suspect based on the allocation of Pennsylvania, it wouldn't be too dissimilar to what we have right now, which is in the 10 million um, figure. So again, we're not sure, but I think we're still talking some pretty big money for a while. 
Um, I think there will also be an extension of time that people can receive assistance with the second program. So while we have a really high application volume at this time, we could potentially serve those folks again. So you are correct. There's a lot up in the air, um, but we're making our best guess uh, and, you know, to try and serve the community and also serve the department with all these different funds coming in. So again, whatever works and whatever makes everybody comfortable is fine with me. Hi, this okay. is Kristen. Sorry, one, one quick note. Um, with the creation of these positions, it is inclusive of the elimination of the assistant director, if I'm correct, Faith. Um, yes. So th there'll be another motion on the next agenda to eliminate that position from the, basically from the budget um, because of the creation of these positions. So it's not, she's not just adding on positions, she is eliminating that assistant director um, after Deb's retirement. So I just would like to sort of a replacement position with the housing director. So thanks, just wanted to note that. Thanks, Kristen. Okay, uh, any other questions on these items? So I'm supportive of, of the, um, creation of these positions, especially hearing that it's actually going to be a net of two positions. Um, we may also want to consider based on the large crush of current applications, possibly maybe even adding a couple of more temporary positions, but we can talk about that at later meetings. Absolutely. So on May 20th, we'll, we'll have that discussion further, but we are looking at adding additional caseworkers to meet that need. Yeah, I would, I would agree with Commissioner Higgins where, um, and again, we can get more into this, Just and this just gives context for these positions where um, even though we may have until 2025 to spend certain grant funds, the need is obviously there right now and to front load with additional staff up front uh, would, would, would be my, my preference. But again, this is just, uh, this is more about restructuring the office long-term, a position that may be extended longer due to the availability of federal dollars. Uh, but in terms of hiring additional staff, I think that would be, I'd concur with Commissioner Higgins. That'd be something I'd like to see as well. But again, uh, we have a, a, a meeting later in May to discuss that. So, okay. Um, any other questions, comments? Okay. Okay. Uh, we, we look for then a motion to consider the creation of those three uh, positions. Motion to consider the creation of a full-time Housing Supervisor Adult Services, uh, a full-time Data and Quality Specialist in Adult Services, and a full-time Department Clerk 3 in Adult Services. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Any final discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 The motion is carried. Okay, thank you, Faith. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Okay, is there any other business to come before the salary board before we look to adjourn at 1014? Hearing none, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor of adjourning, do so by saying aye. 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 We are adjourned. Okay, thank you. <laughs>